All right, for all the people that want to gather the information from all the experience, man, look at all that dust up there. That's nuts, isn't it? These vehicles and engines have been absolutely hammered up in North Queensland in Australia in some of the dustiest conditions you can find. This is a real world test of air filters and K&N air filters. In this video, I'll show you the genuine filter. It's time to get replaced. Let's have a quick look at the clean side of the air box again. And we'll have a look at, it's pretty good. So it's got the dust. You can see there's quite a bit of dust there. So this is the genuine filter. Do me a favor, just run your fingers along that. Can't see anything there, can we? So that's good. So I'm actually quite surprised how good we've still got that dust under there. Remember you wiped that last time, didn't you? Remember? Yeah, so it come, the dust does come through the genuine filter. So we're going to have a comparison with the inside of this lid. And that math sensor, you can see it's got the dust on it. Even though there's no oil in here, it still sticks. It's hard to explain. It's really difficult to explain. Watch all the videos in the playlist on air filters. Look at the, look at the dust. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to throw that on the ground. We'll just see all the dust come flying out of it. Look at that. Putrid thing. Finish with this now, it's rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish. okay, you got another one there. Yeah. Look at this. It's been absolutely hammered. You know how much dust? No, no machines, just in the real air box of the genuine, the real engine, right? None of these contraptions people set up to, you know? Mate, there's no shortage of dust coming out of that. That is being hammered. You know what you should really do when you do that? Stuff a rag to cover that and blow it so you're not blowing anything in there. Because if there's bits of leaf and stuff in the bottom, it just floats straight up in the in. air. Straight in, mate. It's the big stuff, not what you want. So you just learn something else. Next time, rag straight over the top, and then you can blow your head off if you like. Look at this whole engine bay. It's just putrid. All right, let's go and have a look at one of the other vehicles at the K&N, there's two K&N air filters. All right, this is the 120 Prado, and it's had the K&N filter for the whole trip, yeah? Yes. No, no filter's been changed, nothing funny going on. Now, was it clean at the start of the trip, or was it already dirty? I can't really remember. Okay, probably... so, so it wasn't clean since before the last trip then, right? Is that right? Yeah, there's a bit of dust here. Do me a favor, run your finger up on that part there. Up higher, just go top. Now that's clean, right? So there's no dust. So there's that amount of dust there, so there is some getting through this one as well. Yeah, that's the, you're remembering some of the oil. And somebody asked in one of the other videos, so why does the oil go there and not there? Well, because the air goes there and not there. Do you know what I mean? So the air generally doesn't go there. If there's dust billing through a filter, it'll get dirty on the inside of the, the lid there, as we've seen before. But the oil doesn't go there, if that kind of makes sense. Where the air flows down here, let's have a look at that math sensor, can we see it? little bit dusty not too bad that really doesn't look much different to the one with the genuine filter does it looking at that part what do you think anybody or oh, you didn't see it okay but um the dust here. here is more spread out yours was sort of more in one spot like it comes through right at the end in one spot of the filter boom it was sort of thicker in one spot where this is more spread out so this one's showing that there is a bit of dust getting through but it's just fine dust fine dust gets through filters let's have a look in here and see what this story says so you put grease on the rubber did you yeah but you didn't clean it since between the last trips, no? So this was cleaned before the last trip. So this has done a heap of dust, really. This has done the Simpson Desert, right? Yeah, this, is, okay. this has done the Simpson, it's done the WA trip, right? So you can see all the oil in the bottom of the box. So plenty of oil on that one. Did you re-oil it at all? So you re-oiled it since the last trip. But it, so like me, right? But I'd say you've probably been in a bit more dust. Okay, so that's what it looks like for everybody that wants to have a look, right? Um, do you know on your air box, does the snorkel down, does the, uh, did they glue up that duck bill? No, no, because the battery's in the way, so we don't really know. All right, let's make sure this is sitting in correctly and pop that one back on. And we'll go and have a look at my 120 now that we had a look at and clean the MAF sensor um, up the tip. Now, where are we now? We're back at, uh, where are we now? Palmer River Roadhouse. There you go. So this is what it's like after. That's at least 2,000 k's of dust then, isn't it? Yeah. The Chariot 120. Let's have a look at the air filter. So, what do we do? We had a look at it up, up the top. Can you give us a hand with that? 
thing? No, mate. Sorry. Too busy at the moment. Well, what are you doing, mate? I'm watching. I've only got, I've got one hand for a camera and I've only got one hand free. Jeez. Oh, you're busy. All right, get out the way. All right. <laughs> all right, so let's have a look at this one. We should be able to do it one handed. Let's see. Let's have a look, see. That's the bottom. So let's have a look at the bottom. You can see all the red dust is where it's been hitting it. See in the box there, there's a lot less oil in this one compared to the other one. All right, and there's, I don't, like I said, I didn't put grease on this one. Now come out. Do you mind just flicking that out, mate? Just get that rubber bit and just flick it so it drops out. That's it. All right, let's put, actually, do you want to slip that into place so when I drop it down, just pull it up a bit. Yeah, it's got to come up. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful, sit him in. Beautiful. Give it a bit of a nice tight fit, isn't it? It's what you want. So, oops, sorry, nearly spilled the, the drink. Well, that's just that's just you know backwash anyway. But anyway, um, see here, much cleaner. We don't have. I'm not seeing that dust there. Right? See that? None of that dust that the genuine filter did have on it there. And here, and up here, it's all clean. Right? So now I'm going to go as far as to say. I think the way you drive has got a lot to do with it as well. So I've got a bit of a procedure. Yeah, you're the, you've been the leader a fair bit as well. Uh, not today. Yeah, not today, but out of, out of thousands of kilometres, you know, I've been sucking dust too, but what I do when there's an oncoming, I say, for a start, I stay out of the dust. And when there's an oncoming, like I said, that's where I flick it into drive, it comes off the gas until the dust clears. So the engine's pulling minimal where if you're accelerating through it, the engine needs air, you're at two or 3,000 RPM and it's just pulling it through quicker. Maybe that's part of what's going on because, but, you know, I don't know. There's nothing going on there, right? So there you go. Here's the results. You work out whatever filter you want to use. You buy a genuine one, you buy a K&N, whatever you want. But you know what? I think definitely the genuine or the K&N is the go. I wouldn't... Uh, Put a non-genuine the grease actually helps it slip on better set the top corner there i'm just you know it's a bit tight see it's a, you want a tight fit though you do want it nice and tight so it doesn't leak all right make sure it's on all the way one-handed right one hand beautiful make sure they all clip on and you know try and make sure it's clean before you open it all up the general area and because you're going to get all this dust and that on the wrong side of the airbox, so I'm going to clean the MAF sensor again because it's got a little bit of dust on it, and we're not going to be seeing any dust again for a while at least, or as far as we know, till whenever. So I'll give the MAF a quick clean and butter bing, butter boom. So I just want to be clear this video was not sponsored by anyone, it's not sponsored by them, that's what I use, it's not sponsored by that filter, genuine filters, or Toyota, and I don't care what you do. I just make videos to show you what really happens on the ground so you can hopefully decide, make the right decisions for your vehicle um, to make it last and to save you money. If you need any of those parts kits, the Prado Hospital will be reopening soon. We're currently closed. Stay tuned on the Prado Hospital Facebook page if you can or in videos like this so you don't miss it. Subscribe, turn the bell on and we'll have injector kits, BFE kits, front wheel bearing assemblies available Monday morning 7.30am via text message. In the meantime, you can check out the playlists, including those called How to Buy My Kits, Air Filters and Cleaning Them, Injector Information, and Front Wheel Bearing Information, because Front Wheel Bearing Hubs, there's been quite a bit of information in these recent videos that should probably get you interested in what maintenance you need to do. And that includes on the 1GD engine, which we don't really work on, we try and avoid it. Um, it's They're still going to need wheel bearings, they're still going to need a much bigger, more expensive BFE kit. It's not just a timing belt and uh, stuff like that. So stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Got the sensor out once again. Just thought I'd show you. All right. How much dust is around it. It's actually not too bad. Look at that side, how clean it is. This side's lightly dusted. Look, overall, I think this K&N filter got the best results, followed by the genuine. Um, and probably driving... Driving habits in the dust is probably the, one of the bigger contributors also. Anyway, that looks pretty good. We'll just give it a quick clean and that'll be the final clean for the trip.